Hey there, it's Nathan at Simple Shot, and you just saw the video with Mark Selgin introducing the Cleaver Slingshot. So just wanted to give you a little rundown. Um, of course, you watched that uh, interview there. He enlightened us about several ways he's designed this to, um, to get a better fit, to get a better feel for the slingshot. So the lanyard, this is something that's really cool. So I'm just going to show you a couple of different ways how to set this lanyard up. Now, of course, you can put the lanyard right through the hole um, if that makes you happy, but it was designed to do um, multiple things multiple ways. So we've got four different holes here for you to interface your paracord with. So you'll, it'll come with a uh, bit of paracord. Uh, you might need a longer piece, but uh, one that I thought was really cool was um, you can just simply put a, a stopper knot in the back of this and then bring the lanyard around and you're gonna make a loop over the top. So what this effectively does here is allows you to have no twist in your lanyard. And you can also adjust this so that when you're in your locked in position, you've got the amount of tension that you're looking for. Um, and what that's giving you is another instance of tactile feedback to understand that you're locked in so that you can get a repeatable and consistent grip. So likewise, you can put it in that way. Uh, interesting Mark thing Mark has designed is you can also set one up for your thumb coming across the top. Now this is one I have not personally experimented with, but I do like the idea of it. So we can see here, if you were to adjust this appropriately, you get your thumb in there and have a, simply a thumb loop. So take a, um, some time to really experiment with how you set up your lanyard system on this slingshot to give you the most points of contact for a repeatable grip. Uh, as far as installing the bands go, uh, like we said there, if you've got this slingshot, you've probably already um, a slingshot person, but it uses uh, machine screws, 2.5 millimeter hex head machine screws. Just like any other clamping slingshot system, you're gonna loosen those up and you're gonna install the bands. Now this is a through the forks only slingshot, so there's no option here to shoot over the top. And if you are a person that's looking at this slingshot, you already know these things. So, um, but folks that might be interested in shooting it over the top, it's not an option. So of course, tune your bands uh, to your preferred draw length. You simply insert the bands into the clips, mount the clips down, then use your provided tool to lock them into place. So. Um, as far as tension goes, finger tight is all right. You don't need to really hammer down on them. Just snug them up and lock them in place. Uh, the provided tool will not allow you to get too much torque, so no worries there. But these are uh, roughly 24 mil fork tips, 23, 24 mil fork tips, so you can accommodate some really wide bands if that's your jam. So um, here we go, we got the bands installed. All right, bands installed. Now, of course, if you're right-handed, you can just put the clamps on the opposite side. So this is set up to be an ambidextrous slingshot. It does have the integrated sight with fiber optics. If you need to replace those fiber optics, it's very easy, just a lighter and a pair of snips, and you've got that rolling. But yeah, this is the slant, uh, I'm sorry, the Selgin Cleaver um, by Mark Selgin by way of simple shot. We're really proud of this one. This is a very interesting slingshot, a uh, slingshot that's capable of top accuracy in the right hands, simply because it's been made intentionally from the ground up to have lots of points of tactile reference to give you a repeatable and consistent grip. So check it out, the Selgin Cleaver at Simple Shot. Thanks for taking a look.